as we say that the best donation is the blood donation. So, Rakt Jamandan is the biggest Jeevan Dhan. From the point of morality also, as a society also, as a part of brotherhood also, the blood donation uh, defines our humanity. And the most important thing which I consider uh, significant in blood donation is the blood can be donated by anybody. He may come from any caste, creed, or religion. And once the blood is collected in the blood banks, anybody can claim that blood blood. Otherwise, normally in a society, people say he is from that caste, he is from that religion. But when it comes to getting the blood from a blood bank or in a hospital, nobody would ever question that this blood belongs to a Hindu or a Muslim or a Sikh or a Christian or from a high caste or a low, from a low caste. So that means that it is, blood is a great purifier also. So we need to also protect this aspect of blood transfusion that blood is a great equalizer, a great unifier. So I will not take much of time because other speakers are also there and then the process of donation of blood also has to proceed. So with these words, I am thankful to Dr. Sophia and uh, SP Training and other communities that they took time out of this schedule and came here and uh, helped us in organizing this blood bank. And I assure that we have this camp at the police uh, uh, force here and we get a very good response. I'm expecting a very good response today. Now, all of said and done, uh, a lot is said about the benefits of uh, blood donation. Sir has rightly said that blood till today is not produced in machines. Yes, it's an essential drug and not produced in machines. So it is we who are the producers, humans. And today, each unit that the donors would be donating will not just save one life, it will save three to four lives. It was we at the Goa Medical College Blood Bank, we have a component separation unit. We divide your blood into various components, pack cells, fresh frozen plasma, cryoprecipitate and platelet concentrate. So your one donation is not saving one life, three to four lives. And many say, Zai Kanna Divya, Atanka Divya. But remember your donation, regular donation when we organize such camps, helps all the blood banks to have enough stock of all blood groups. Because in an emergency, relatives, friends, they all come in later. The patient is what to casualty bleeding. He comes, the request comes to blood bank, many a times unknown. We don't even know the name of the patient. And just the hospital number and we have to release blood. One unit, two units, ten units, twenty, thirty, forty. Even for a pregnant woman, post delivery, we have, we have released sixty to seventy units and saved a life. It is not we, but you, our superheroes, who save these lives. So by your donation regularly, for this noble cause, your donation helps save three to four lives in their images. And you do not know, as Sir said, it's an equalizer. It's a, it's a, it's a human, uh, your, your, it's a noble cause that you're uh, donating. Punyache ka muntak, because you can give food, water, clothing, anything to people. But when it comes to blood, you're giving it from yourself. And you do not know to whom it is going. We have small babies. Uh, who require regular transfusions, who have thalassemia, a defect in their hemoglobin, they require regular transfusions, their cancer is rising, kidney, uh, a lot of patients having kidney problems, they require regular transfusions. We cannot ask them to come to replace blood every time they need a transfusion. It is your voluntary donation that go to such patients. Okay? And blood bank never refuses blood for anybody in an emergency. I've been working so many years in blood bank. Whatever it is, we see that the blood is released. When we say come for replacement, and after the blood is released, we ask you to come forward and replace blood. And it is not possible after releasing around 30 units that you can give us 30 units back. But at least they come and replace few units. They call friends and relatives and they replace the blood. Now here for the blood donation today, you all will be getting a card. Now this card is an incentive to y'all that y'all can use as a replacement whenever required. Say for a planned case or we have released that you have to come and surrender that card. Or 
donate. But we do not expect every unit to be replaced. But blood, as we said, is not produced in the machine. We require the flow of blood coming into blood bank apart from our voluntary blood donation camps. Now, who can donate blood? A person who has more than 45 kg body weight, men and women, between the age of 18 and 60, regular donors can donate till the age of 65. Once you cross 45 kg body weight, you have around 3.5 to 4 liters of blood in your body. And what you're donating today is only 350 ml. It makes no difference to your body when you donate this amount. It gets this entire volume gets back into your body in one to two days, provided you follow instructions given by us. We tell every donor before donation, you must have a good meal. Like today morning, a nice heavy breakfast, not plain chai and little biscuits. No, no, a proper breakfast before donation. Say you are donating somewhere else in the afternoon, see that you have had a good lunch, a good night's sleep. You should feel good on the day of donation. You should feel fine. If you have not slept well, you cannot donate. So you should sleep well, a good meal, and you should feel fine on the day of donation. We have a lot of questions that we ask you on your enrollment form. That is for your good and also for the safety of the blood. So those answers are kept all confidential with us in blood bank. So be honest with your medical history. There are a lot of things that we differ, like some people cannot donate blood. So please answer them uh, truthfully so that we can you know, take uh, good quality blood and give good quality. You yourself as donors remain in good health. Men can donate at an interval of three months and women the interval is increased to four months. Okay. Now, we have a lot of other questions and if anybody has any allergies, uh, if you have had uh, any accidents, operations, malaria, dengue, jaundice, please tell us truthfully and mark it and tell the social worker as he questions here. Okay? Now, uh, after you donate, donation as such is just one small print. It's just an ant bite left print. It takes 3 minutes for the 350 ml to be out and then we ask every donor to keep your arm loosely up, sit with us for 10 minutes, have the refreshment and proceed. No riding driving for the next half an hour. Do all your normal activities, no strenuous activity on the day of donation, no gymming. You can go for gymming the next morning, okay? No gymming on the day of donation. Have your normal meals and plenty of water on the day of donation. This 350 ml, the volume gets back into your body in 24 to 48 hours. Just follow instructions. We have university students coming to us saying that we donate blood and we feel nice and fresh. And after three months they come, we want to donate again because uh, somehow after donation we feel nice and fresh. So that is what you feel if you follow good instructions, you donate blood and post donation also have your meals, no fasting plenty of water, you feel nice and fresh. And the greatest thing is that you know that your one donation is saving three to four lives. After donation, we ask you to sit, have your refreshments and only then proceed. Please follow these instructions so that you feel nice and fine. And go and convey to others your experience of donation. Now, your blood goes through a test. We test every unit of blood mandatory for HIV, Hepatitis B, Hepatitis C, Malaria and syphilis. There is a concern. Your last Once you cross 45 kg body weight, you have around 3.5 to 4 liters of blood in your body. And what you're donating today is only 350 ml. Makes no difference to your body when you donate this amount. It gets this entire volume gets back into your body in one to two days, provided you follow instructions given by us. We tell every donor before donation, you must. Have a good meal. Like today morning, a nice heavy breakfast, not plain chai and little biscuits. No, no. A proper breakfast before donation. Say you are donating somewhere else in the afternoon, see that you have had a good lunch, a good night's sleep. You should feel good on the day of donation. You should feel fine. If you have not slept well, you cannot donate. So you should sleep well, a good meal, and you should feel fine on the day of donation. Days of the days. Uh, my name is Ashwini Nayak, and currently I am an assistant professor at BMSL Nagpur College of Law, and I'm also the director of the Legal Aid Society. At the onset, I want to congratulate Mercedes Legal Aid Cell for doing a wonderful job in doing uh, in organizing this blood donation camp. I wish you all the success, but I also request you all to comply with all the formalities and report to me after this is done. <laughs>
Uh, nonetheless, uh, uh, I want to talk a little bit about our legal aid society. Uh, Amcha College, VM Salgambar College of Law, currently, I mean, 27 cells, Hana Amcha College run karta in different parts of Goa, where we give free legal aid and free legal services to people who come to us. Tanga kine advice hai, kine cards korun jai, kine firstly tanga legal help jai. Amchi students to me approach korun shakta and they can give you every possible help through us and the senior advocates that they intern with. So, tumka koi chi menantriya sa ki tumka samaj gara sa sa amchi pekshe legal aid sa la chi burgi, panje legal aid sa la sa, Santa Cruz legal aid sa la sa. Please approach them and they will help you in any way that you are required. Uh, I want to conclude by telling you all something about me. You know, why did you take up law as a student? As a student, And the only answer I had was two things. One is I love law and second, uh, I hated maths and blood. So, currently, currently uh, because of some unfortunate deaths in my family, I became a regular blood donor since 2007 and I religiously donate blood twice a year. So, Makadis Kazar Hamper Park Shakta, Kala Dumi Kara Park Shakta. Please, Kudayera, Sarang Marila Vushin, blood donation as I can. Sukhna, Ananna, Anipunyana. Thank you. Good morning, all the dignitaries on the days, off the days, students, and everybody who is here come for blood donation and collection, etc. As it is, I will just speak on two aspects. First aspect is blood donation and second aspect is that we all are from, although we are from a different uh, platforms, we are from different sectors, but everybody, the police, legal sector and our uh, doctor, we are here to serve the society. So that is why this blood donation can get uh, together when we talk about the different sectors and we can actually have a consensus towards uh, the blood donation. Second point which I wanted to speak is about our Lenses Legal Aid Cell. I will talk in Konkani so that it, it becomes easier. Makai Masha Bhara is the name, Odocha in English I can. Sir, I am the Lenses Legal Aid Cell, the Dar Shenwara is the name of the Lenses Legal Aid Cell. Sir, I am the Lenses Legal Aid Cell, the Dar Shenwara is the name. शेनवारा शेनवारा सभी पुर्जी अमी दम साथ आनी जी दो के साथ क्लाइंट से साथ तंगा मुक्त मतलब पुकपुकट सर्विस दिल जाता अत ती सर्विस को शिया साथ ही तुम चीजे प्रॉब्लम्स है साथ तुम चीजे कागाड़ी है साथ ही घर तुम ही ओपन चो आनी दशा जा तरह ना मैं तुमका हेल्प करो शक्ता जा तरह ना मैं तुमका गाइडेंस करो शक्ता � हाजा पत्तल जी जागरूकता हमें फैलो पा जाए तो शिक यहाँ लीगल एंड सेला पत्तल सोचा तुम्हीं तुम जा शेडर पा जाना सांगा सो जाए दे कैन अवेल द सर्विसेज थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सो मच फॉर एनलाइटनिंग अस अबाउट ब्लड डोनेशन एंड आल्सो द लॉज एसोसिएटेड विथ इट विच जस्ट पासिंग थ्रू सम लाइट uh, to start off this program, I am expecting it to be a huge success. I forgot to introduce myself. I am Dr. Sophia Rodericks, gynecologist, working for the past 15 years and how I got associated, associated with law is I love medicine. I have also started loving law. Uh, it's uh, something which really inspired me at this age, at 40 years, to come and take up law because there are a lot of things in medicine uh, which is so difficult for a normal lawyer to understand and when I incorporate both the fields of medicine and law is going to give a wonderful result is what I believe. Thank you so much everyone, the donors uh, for coming forward here and I would request Mahima to come and give a vote of thanks. Sit down. DG sir, Professor Sati Valley, Dr. Ashwini and also the Chumayan on the days. Uh, in fact, we have, uh, we love to organize such programs and we have been putting in all efforts. It's just that last week I wasn't uh, very well, so literally a week I was uh, advised bed rest. And uh, so I couldn't be very actively present for this, but uh, I would request the, the uh, professors and 
the doctors who are on base, that we are always there by your side and we are there to support your the noble cause that you all have. And if there is anything in future also, we are always there to coordinate and arrange such programs. Thank you. Bardis Goa branch has organized blood donation camp in collaboration with Goa Police. Sir, you present for the program as a chief head. Sir, what do you like to tell? Uh, basically, this program was a joint uh, venture of Goa Police, uh, Legal Aid Society Mercies, which is run by the VM Sir Gaukar College, and uh, Dr. Sophia from Nepal Hospital and GMC Blood Bank. Uh, since uh, Blood donation is the most important donation which a human being can uh, do because it saves life. Not only it saves lives because when a person donates blood, the medical authorities, the blood transfusion department of the hospitals and medical colleges, they separate the blood into various components. Somebody may be needing plasma, somebody may be needing other components of the blood. So it goes on to not only uh, save the life but also cure certain diseases. Today the students of uh, DM Sir Gaukar College were also there. They were also explained the legal aspect of uh, blood donation and blood transfusion because blood also qualifies as a drug under the Drug and uh, Cosmetics Act. So they were explained uh, various provisions. And since it is a service also, sometimes there can be deficiency in the service. So various provisions relating to Consumer Protection Act, as a member of the legal fraternity, they should be aware about the certain legal aspect of the blood transfusion also. And it also brings uh, you know, a kind of kindness in the human beings. When you come to know that you are donating blood, which will ultimately save the life of a person, and this is a unique donation because all other donations are outside the system, your body. But this you are sharing a part of your body, blood is a part of your body with somebody else. That makes it the most important contribution, the most important donation. Goa Police will continue to be associated with such good activities because it goes on to bring unity and integrity within the social system. So what would be your message for general public and youth on blood donation? Uh, yes, because uh, blood donation uh, within uh, say 24 hours, the supply of the blood is depleted. So therefore nobody should be afraid of uh, donating blood. And so far as police department is concerned, we get a lot of calls from hospitals and medical colleges. So our jawan and officers, they keep on donating blood. So I would uh, request the members of the society also to be liberal about this and as per the doctor's opinion, uh, when you donate blood, so within 24 hours your supply is actually uh, repleted basically. Thank you so much.